2014 conference was exciting in its breadth as well as its depth. New additions this year included a film festival and a vendor with a model greenhouse. We are extremely grateful for the participation and support of our sponsors and participants in this conference. This is the ninth Immigrant and Minority Farmers Conference. It's a collaboration between about 20 organizations that work really hard with immigrant and minority farmers to help them have access to the resources that exist for other farmers in this country. And this conference is a place where they can get introduced to lots of organizations and lots of information and network with one another. One of my favorite things about the conference is how you can take the Hmong experience and the Latino experience and the Karen experience and the Bhutanese experience and have everybody learning together in a multicultural manner, in a multicultural way, and learn from each other. And that what people discover is that their differences are not very important. They're more alike than they are different and they're farmers and they get to farm together. This is the biggest conference of this kind in the United States. We really think this uh, sponsoring this conference is very important because we feel that uh, there's a lot of underserved farmers that need help. Our role is to provide technical assistance, financial assistance where it's possible to immigrant farmers, uh, underserved farmers, beginners farmers through the uh, Farm Bill program. You know the technical assistance that we provide is to provide education and information to the immigrant farmers to assist them in their natural resource concerns. The reason why we're involved is because we're really committed to making sure all farmers have access to the resources that are available now. And we really want to see the next generation of farmers represent our community more broadly and also to have access to uh, organic farming methods. Most of our Karen people are subsistence farmers or sustainable agriculture that we do. This is our second year that we have been here. For information and ver qué opciones tienen los los granjeros en Minnesota. I came to get information and to see what options they have for farmers in Minnesota. I'm a new uh, urban farmer of North Minneapolis. I have learned from this conference um, the importance of keeping record for my farm business, because I'm just starting out, this is my first time starting this. And then knowing that I'm not alone, and also knowing that the organization is out there to help me. My work is primarily in the area of financial planning. Uh, so I work with farmers individually on different types of needs, uh, cash flow uh, projections, and trying to help them put their goals into, into action. Up to $10,000 available. We can work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you on putting the numbers together. We're seeing the positive results in farmers being able to establish a, a successful farming operation in a lot of different ways, from the farm, mar, farmer market, niche market, um, to uh, selling directly to, to grocery stores. Hi, good afternoon. I hope you guys have learned a lot of stuff this morning. Uh, we're going to go, as Susan said, to our favorite part of the day, which is our stories. Uh, farming helps with um, Having products for yourself to eat too, so you save money from uh, farming. So I made a lot of money and then I said, ah, I see. But I think I can be a farmer. And partnering with the university also is important because it just opens up a whole new, uh, a, a wide range of opportunities. I think I appreciate that the um, University of Minnesota they just offer a lot of courses for to learn for how to um, use chemical, how to fertilize. We represent Hmong farmers in the Twin Cities area. I've been farming with my family for about 20 years, and there are tons of great resources here that um, I'm really excited to learn about. Like I just picked up a pamphlet on pollinators and bees, and I, I've always wanted to learn about that. So that's part of the reason why I'm here. It's really important to us to sponsor this conference and be involved in it because the immigrant farmers of our community, they're the lifeblood of our food system. They are growing really healthy vegetables. They're growing. Uh, very helpful food that we need in our communities and they need a lot of support. A lot of Hmong farmers um, 
has seen that the stuff that they grow, they can sell and make a little bit of income. And so that has sustained or supplement a lot of families. Um, and for other families who just grow to eat, it's a way to have access to food that are important to them and important to their diet. I'm a, actually, I'm a certified organic, and uh, I'm uh, the first small certified organic in Minnesota. Well, the reason we came last year, it was very informative because we were to also shown how to market our produce and how to even gather the produce so that it'll be marketable and it'll be, uh, uh, especially what we like is that we do not use GMOs. My main goal to uh, have an organic farm is to uh, have a better, uh, to give a better health to my customers. This here is a, a high tunnel. This is for season extension. Since there's snow here, we don't know what to do with our farming, so we need to get more education with uh, when it comes to snow time. Very, very good. Very rewarding and resourceful. And meet uh, other uh, farmers and be able to build and gain other knowledge from different experiences from people who've been doing it longer than I have. I'm also really um, rejuvenated by all the, the folks in the community who are excited about supporting immigrant and minority farmers, and that's really exciting. What I really hope farmers take from the conference is that there are people like them doing what they love, people like them who want to help them do what they love better, that there's profit to be made in farming well in this country, and that there's plenty of opportunity here. And the opportunity is yours for the taking if you can discover it. And we can help people discover that opportunity. I'm blessed to just be here today. Yay!